Western. In Montgomery County, there have already been three confirmed measles cases so far this year. It gets a little scary if you're not immunized. Measles can be pretty devastating. Dr. Joseph Allen says being vaccinated against measles greatly impacts how measles would affect you if you were exposed. Allen says the measles vaccine offers 97% protection against the illness. We talked to people like Shanae Hespeth, who says she heard about the measles exposure at the mall at Fairfield Commons. Um, and it's something that it seems like it's an issue for public health. So if it's an issue for public health, then it has to be an issue for me. On March 16th, a Montgomery County resident with a confirmed case of measles visited that mall between 4 and 7 p.m. A health alert was released by Greene County Public Health. Now contact tracing is happening, hoping to find anyone in the mall that evening who may have been exposed. Hespeth says staying informed is the key. So I do try to pay attention to it and figure out where it's at, but I can't be afraid to live life and not visit places because it's out there. Public Health Dayton Montgomery County says you can get the measles vaccine at any age if you were not vaccinated as a child. There's no need to get a booster dose of measles vaccine. It's fully effective throughout your lifetime. But for those individuals who may not know if they're vaccinated, that's when another vaccination may be appropriate. If you are interested in getting vaccinated against measles, you can reach out to your local public health office or find more information on our website, WDTN.com. In studio, Aaliyah C. Brooks, 2 News. All right, thank you, Aaliyah.